This is a speedway? Yeah. Two the pit stops, one and two. Oh, two pit stops, okay. So he has multiple hereditary exostosis, also called MHE, and he has bone growths on his joints, mostly his joints. This is Daytona National Speedway office. Oh, this is the offices? He's a Daytona International Speedway, big fan. I'll try to build another car out of this. Um, we first noticed the one on his leg about three years ago. And then now we've noticed, you know, as the years have progressed, numerous ones popping up here and there. Pretty much the diagnosis is, while he's young, still able to do things as long as they don't grow into areas that will affect nerves or movement. Um, but pretty much after the bones are done growing in a male, 15 to 18, that, you know, pain may start, um, other, you know, issues may begin. So they pretty much tell us to, you know, enjoy his childhood and keep him happy and that they will keep him as comfortable as possible as long as they can. And, um, what's, what's, what's the name of the animal? I wish I knew what you know. We came to find out about Shriners from our pediatrician, Dr. Jamie Quinteros. He recommended it to us after we had gotten numerous opinions from other doctors, other pediatric hospitals, we started losing all hope in future of Theodore. Then um, the day we went, we were hooked. They told us positive things, told us this is not the end of the road. There is treatments, there's surgeries, there's things to keep them comfortable. He will live a normal life and a, and a full one. Um, they did let us know that, you know, as, as he goes into adulthood, that other issues may arise. He told us that they would then assist in finding the proper match of an orthopedic doctor that could help him in the future. So there was no dead end. It was just great answers and good connection. And they gave us hope. That's all that I could say is that they gave us hope.